guys! In today's video, we're going to be learning how to do the double crochet cluster stitch. So let's jump on into it. You're going to start off the stitch by chaining any even number. So I'm going to chain 30. And now that we have our 30 stitches, what we're going to do is a single crochet into that second chain from the hook. One single crochet. And then you're going to chain one. And then skip your next chain. And then work a single crochet into that next chain, one single crochet. And now again, you're going to chain one and skip your next chain. And into that next chain, you're going to work one single crochet. And then you're just gonna keep continuing to do that pattern. Chain one, skip a chain, one single crochet into your next chain. So I'm going to continue that pattern all the way to the end of the row. Okay, so now I have finished doing that pattern all the way along the row. And what you're going to do to start your next row is just a simple chain one and turn your work and we can move on to the next row. So for this next row, what we're going to do is you had your chain one and turn. So now you're going to work a double crochet into that first stitch. So double crochet. And then into your first chain one space, from the previous row, you're going to work two double crochets together. And how we're going to do that is you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, pull up a loop, and you'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through the first two, and now you're going to have two more. Once again, you're going to yarn over and then insert your hook into that same chain one space. And then pull a loop through and you're going to have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. Now you have three loops on your hook. And now you're going to yarn over and pull through all of the last three. Now you've done your first double crochet two together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and then work into the next chain one section from the row before. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, insert your hook back into that chain one space, yarn over, pull through, now you have four loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, now you have three loops, and yarn over and pull through the last three. And then now again, we're going to chain one, and continue that all the way down the end of the row. Okay, so now I have done that pattern all the way to the end of the row. 
And all you're gonna do is just work one double crochet into that last stitch. And you have finished that row. Okay, so now what we're going to do for the next row is chain one and turn your work. And we're going to do very similar to what we did on that first row. And you're going to do one single crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the first chain one space from the below. And then you're going to chain one. And then look for that next chain one space from the previous row and work one single crochet in there. And now you're going to chain one. Again, look for that next chain one space, single crochet in there, and continue that pattern all the way across. So chain one, go into that next chain one space, and single crochet. Okay, so now for your next row, you're going to chain one again and turn your work. And we're going to do the same thing as we did for our first cluster row. So you're going to work one double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to look for our first chain one space from the previous row. And you're going to work your double crochet two together into there. And then you're going to chain one. Look for that next chain one space from the previous row. Work another two double crochets together. And just continue that pattern all the way across again. So I'm gonna finish repeating that of doing my clusters and then go into the next row where you single crochet, chain one, and then single crochet into your next chain one space. And I'm just gonna finish this swatch and we'll see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, and here is what my finished swatch looks like. You can see there's the little clusters, little space between them. Super cute. It's could be great for sweaters or pretty much anything. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to teaching you a new one soon. Happy stitching!